Resolution? What are you doing? Resolution? Stop! It's the Kevin Show. Intro flat. What? Oh my Hello everybody and happy Friday. For those of you who don't know, this week was the Consumer Electronics Show, or CEASE as I believe it's pronounced. Here are some of the big stories to come out of that event. Samsung 4K Ultra HD content will come. CEASE studio execs say 4K 48 FPS will be industry standard. Super thin quote 4K end quote TVs will put HD to shame. And I started wondering about YouTube. When it first started, it supported 320p on your modem or video cassette. In 2008, they offered DVD style 480p high quality resolution and in the same year, they came out with 720p HD H264 buzzwords. And then in 2009, they added real actual HD 1080i. I'm sorry, that's wrong, it's actually 1080p. Now these resolutions refer to the number of pixels vertically. If you're watching me in full screen right now, you very well could be seeing 1080 pixels of me. Now 4K is different. 4K refers to the width of the video, which is roughly 4,000 pixels, compared to 1080p's is roughly 1920. YouTube currently supports 4K in that you can upload it, but people can only watch it in 1080p, but this could change. And if YouTube goes 4K, I, I gotta be there. So enough of this crappy old HD camera that I got like two months ago. I need to get me a 4K. Let's see what Canon has. Mother! All right, I guess I better start a swear jar. You know, that's not going to be big enough. But one thing we can be sure of is that no matter where the tech goes, the video making community will never go back to just being some Hollywood thing. This is a remarkable time where we can create real meaningful content without ever having to pitch a screenplay. Now I have a favor to ask you, and I know a friend in need, but I'm going to offer you a reward. I know you guys are very concerned about my relationship status. If you do this for me, I will break up with fever in song. I'm gonna mention two channels, and the first thing, I want you to watch the videos all the way through. I think they're really great, and it will not take up much of your time. Second thing, if you like their videos, subscribe, and you've just found a new source of entertainment. If you don't like their videos, don't subscribe. No one likes a number that doesn't mean anything. Instead, here's what you have to do. Leave them a comment about ways that they can work on improving their videos. When I get a comment that criticizes something I hadn't noticed, I get really excited because it's a new goal I can work towards. So do me a favor and click the annotations and watch the videos by Larry Benjamin and Kenny Goff. Have a fantastic weekend, and I will see you on Monday.